Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. So <clears throat> it's uh, the end of January here in 2019, and uh, you know we're about a month into the most recent kind of election cycle of when all those people took office. And around the country, uh, a lot of different uh, gun control bills and, and democratic policy bills are being implemented and introduced in various states, uh, including here in, my, in Minnesota, my state. You know, they're, they're going to try to push through a red flag gun law and a universal gun background check and, you know, gun registration confiscation stuff. And I was, I was thinking the other day, you know, what, what is it um, about the left that, that, why do they push these policies? Like, why believe that? Why believe that gun control will work? And so I think there's, there's a couple answers to that. And uh, so the first thing I'm going to say is, like, what I'm talking about mostly here is the people at the top, right? The people directing these policies, the people that get elected into office, the people that are running the gun violence prevention centers. Like, like these kinds of people are the people I'm, I'm genuinely talking about. Most people, like the people at the bottom, like, look, the moms that demand gun action, right? The moms that actually go out there and join that thinking they're joining some grassroots thing and they don't know they're part of a Michael Bloomberg scheme, uh, those people, I think, are just deceived, right? I, th I think they hear the, the false statistics and the false data or whatever, and it sounds good and it feels good, and so, you know, they, they're just deceived. Uh, w we have this thing in America where one bad thing will happen one time, and we're like, you know what? We're going to pass 15 laws to make sure that one bad thing never happens again. Uh, and, and that's just an American thing throughout history. You, you look at it, and that's just what we do. Um, something bad happens, we're going to pass 15 laws, and we're never going to have that problem happen again. And, you know, you wake up 200 years later to an America that has so many laws and rules and regulations, you, you can't do anything, right? Because one thing, one time, something happened. So anyway, I, I, think, I think there's a bulk of people. You're just your average guy on the street that are just straight out deceived. They just don't know. They just don't know. And, and so it sounds good and it feels good, and so they go with it. So the people at the top, I think, okay, what's, what's their issue, right? What they want to do is ultimately make you dependent on the government. Uh, I, look, I, I think the ultimate goal of, of the left, the modern progressive left, is to make you completely and utterly dependent on the government. They will say they're doing you a favor, but ultimately, I think that's their goal. And, and it's not that hard to come to that conclusion when you look at the policies, right? They want to disarm you. They don't want you to have the right to own guns at all in any capacity. People are saying that now. You got Rep. Eric Swalwell out of California saying we should, you know, confiscate everybody's guns. And those who resist, if they go to civil war with us, we should nuke them. He said that. Uh, so th there's that. Uh, they want to disarm your guns. They want you to do your health care through the government, right? And again, the guys that are, well, we're going to give health care to everybody. But what they want is the state to give you your health care and eventually no one else. And, of course, we've seen how this plays out in places like England or the U.K. where you get admitted to the hospital and maybe you have some issues and they refuse to let you leave and effectively murder you in the hospital. That happens. It's happened twice. The one was with an Italian, uh, young Italian boy. He was like two years old or something. Had a host of issues. And the I Italian government said, we will fly him out of here. We'll fly him to Italy. And the UK said, nope, we're not going to let him leave the hospital. Posted police at the door so they couldn't leave. And effectively killed this kid. Right? The other one was Charlie uh, Gard, I think is how you pronounce that. And they wanted to come to America. Same thing. UK said, nope, can't leave. Effectively killed these kids. Uh, that's that's what happens when the government owns all the hospitals. They won't let you go anywhere else. Uh, so you have these policies. I mean, guns and health care are the most clear ones. And then, of course, they want to tax to death the rich people because they're rich and they don't need money and we know how to use your money better than you. So ultimately, that, that's their goal. It's this total control of your life. Mark my words, within our lifetime, they're going to try to outlaw homeschooling because you can't have people just teaching their kids whatever they want at home. Uh, the state knows best, right? So that that's their ultimate goal. And I think there, there's this genuine belief that they, the elite, liberal, progressives, whatever, know better than you, and they deserve to tell you how to run your life, right? Kind of makes me think, didn't we fight a revolution about that whole thing to begin with? So that, I really think, is what it boils down to. It's, it's that simple, it's that sinister, and it's that ultimately evil because they want to run your life and they think they know your life better than you. 
they want you dependent, subservient, and under the boot of the government. So I share this because I think that it helps you understand uh, what's going on, what the ultimate agenda is, what, what the ultimate purpose is, where they're driving at. Because let's be honest, in the larger picture, guns, while a very important issue, are just one of the things that they're doing to get you under their control, right? Honestly, I'm more scared of uh, the state-run hospitals and only state-run hospitals than I am of a lot of gun laws. Uh, like, that terrifies me. When the, when the government owns all the hospitals and they tell you which ones you can and can't go to and when you can and can't get an MRI and what treatment you will and will not receive, that's terrifying. Um, th that gets me more scared than a lot of proposed gun laws. So, again, just remember that the gun thing is just one cog in the whole machine where they have this agenda to ground you into dust until you're subservient to the state. Uh, and then they turn around and they do things like where the, uh, the Florida shooting down in Sarasota, or not Sarasota, excuse me, uh, Parkland, Florida, Broward County, uh, you know, the, the resource officer, he famously didn't go inside, right? Uh, and a couple parents from that incident who lost children have tried to sue the resource officer in the county to say, you know, he had a duty to protect kids and he didn't go inside and he was telling other people not to go inside. And that case, of course, got dismissed because the police have no legal duty to protect you. So they want you disarmed and then they don't want a duty to actually protect you like they say they're gonna, right? And, and that's, that's the play. Be dependent on us, but, you know, I mean, if you slip through the cracks or whatever, we're not responsible. Uh, and so I share that with you because as that gains more power and more traction, and people think, yeah, we need the government to step in here and do something, and your liberties slip away, and then the government doesn't step in and do something, it's like, oh, well, you know, I mean, they did their best, and whatever. It is a lose-lose for you all the way through. So share this with someone in your life that's maybe on the left that maybe hasn't come to that conclusion yet. Uh, and this is just for you to know that... Again, that, that, I really believe that's their ultimate agenda. If you, if you think different, I'd, I'd really be curious to hear that. I'd be curious to hear an alternate theory uh, because I really think that's what it boils down to. Until then, do brave deeds and endure.